questions are you about to object to exemptions that would certainly benefit your group and several others? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, we do object. An exemption clause would not change the proposed law so as to modify our opposition. Here is the principle, Senator. If the law were just and perfect, an exemption would not be necessary. Another thing, an exemption clause is nothing other than a toleration clause in disguise. Toleration is not liberty. It is merely a form of condescension, the majority putting up with the opinions and convictions of the minority. Our Constitution guarantees not tolerance, but rights. And we claim those rights as American citizens. <sighs> Mr. Jones, without yielding the point, let me move to another question. How would you react if we would rewrite this bill as a Saturday law, with Saturday as the Sabbath, not Sunday at all? I suppose you would take a very different position. To the contrary, Senator. All laws that attempt to force the conscience are manifestly unchristian and unconstitutional by their very nature. Therefore, Senator, we are against every Sunday law that has ever been made since the first one enacted by Constantine to the one you are proposing now. And if you changed it from a Sunday law to a Saturday law, we would oppose it just as firmly.